<sighs> Greetings, friends. It's been a little bit. Got a cat in my arms. So, still has nice. He's trying to play with a tripod. I haven't used this thing in a little bit. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Let me try to adjust it so it's somewhat normal. But, uh, yeah. As I'm sure you know, it's been a little bit since I recorded one of these. It's, uh, it's been over a month, I think. I think my last one was, like, May 20th or something, and we're on, what is it? It's, like, the 28th of June now. Ugh. Huh. <laughs> A lot's happened in the past month, and uh, a lot of it sucks. I'm just going to be straightforward and say that. A lot of what's been going on has just sucked, and there's no real sugarcoating. Just bad luck finding places to live, mostly, and uh, old people being greedy. That's pretty much the problem right now. And I haven't been wanting to record these vlogs or anything, <clears throat> because, I mean, I mentioned it in a vlog before when I was going through a really bad depression cycle in May, where I didn't want to uh, film myself being all sad and stuff, because I mentioned how in older videos, or in uh, videos that I watched, and someone was sad or something, it would make me feel like bad because it's like, I wish I could do something, but I can't, because I'm just watching this in some other way. But... Recently, I was watching a, a video done on Critical Role's channel for, it was an interview video, and uh, it was for Sam Regal, and he was talking about his wife and their experience during 9-11, and how she took all these photos to kind of separate herself from the incident, because they were like right there when the towers were crashed into, and uh, I guess him saying that kind of changed something in my mind, and it made me think of something that... You know, I feel like I was vlogging for the wrong reasons for a little bit, and that's why I didn't want to vlog myself being more honest and more raw with my emotions. Like, I feel like I was trying to put too much of a face on while vlogging, and uh, not like portraying a character. I was still me. I just wasn't being fully honest in ter with myself for the most part. And watching that video, like there's a point to all this, Watching that video made me realize that I don't want to merely just be an observer to life. I don't want to just sit back while it happens. I want to document it while it does. And whether that's, you know, filming things directly or talking about them after the fact, I want to document my life. And that's the whole point of vlogging. It's to put things down, talk things through, and just in a way make it make you realize that, you know, life's here, this is the only life we get, and, you know, there's not much in terms of, uh, like, we can't extend it. Our lives are, you know, once we're gone, we're gone. So I figured I'd document my life while I'm here, maybe hopefully leave something positive behind on the internet when I eventually pass away. And who knows, maybe vlogging again will help keep me a little more sane. I'm recording this from my main phone instead of the older phone that I was using to vlog for a while, so that means I'll just start posting these to Google Docs again, but since our last vlog, I got a much better laptop. You've probably seen a couple of the streams I've done with the new laptop. It's uh, much faster, so maybe I'll get videos rendered faster and all that. <sighs> but yeah, honestly, that's all I really wanted to say today, so... I appreciate you guys sticking with me through all the craziness. I may film more later, but in case I don't, uh, I just hope you guys manage. I I know I normally say, you know, I hope you guys have a good day and things like that, but, you know, in this world with how everything is, feels like saying to people, or telling people to have a good day feels condescending. It feels fake. And I don't like that. So I'm I'm sorry, I kicked the tripod. But that's why I just say I hope you manage. I hope you find people who will be willing to support you while things are crazy because God things are terrible right now. <laughs> like that's just the truth of the matter. But you know, if you have people watching your back it makes things a little easier. Maybe not all the way, but it does improve some things. 
and it, it, it's hard it's hard sometimes i feel i personally like i mean i live with my significant other i see them every day but i still feel alone sometimes it just that's just what happens to our brains when we're struggling you know in this housing matter i know i have people looking out for me who are helping me try to find a place so that way i can finally not stress about it but i still feel alone sometimes and i feel like that's almost an inevitability when you're dealing with all this stuff but you know we still do have people watching our backs regardless of how we feel i talked about it in an article i wrote from the uh it was an article i wrote called the philosophy of dragon quest i post the link below but that feels like i'm just kind of self-promoting and i don't want that i just like, I'm literally just vlogging, to be honest here. And uh, I don't want to be brutally honest. I'm not going to be like a jackass, like a lot of people do. And it's like, oh, I'm just being honest. It's like, no, you're being a jerk. Stop. But, uh, like, I just, I want to be more honest. I want to be more genuine on these videos. I don't want to pretend things are better than they are. Because they're not. Like, life is awful right now for a lot of people. So... I just want to remind you guys that, you know, we're in this shitstorm together. We're all humans on the same planet, regardless of where we're at, what troubles we're going through. We're all in this crap together. And if we don't realize that soon, that's going to be the downfall of a lot of people. And I know it's been my downfall because I've, I've always kind of had a loner mentality, especially in school. I didn't want to hang out with people. I didn't want to associate with the crowd or anything like that. I just wanted to be alone. And that'll get you, that'll only get you so far. Solitude sounds nice in theory and can be nice in practice, but when you start struggling, what are you gonna do when it's just you? It sucks. And if you are, if you are in that position, if you're experiencing solitude, you know, unwillingly, if you're just by yourself because everyone around you seems to have just abandoned you it's like you know that feeling you know the feeling of struggling and not knowing what to do so it's just a reminder that you know ultimately we aren't alone in this <sighs> we gotta kick life's ass we gotta live with the world and like we don't need to control it we don't need to control everything the only thing we really need to worry about controlling is ourselves it's much easier said than done, but learning to control what you think, what you say, it'll probably get you pretty far once you've practiced it enough. That's something I'm trying to do personally. When I'm at work, I try to think about my words before I say them, even if, ha if there are some awkward pauses in the middle, like what just happened there. I sort of stuttered a little bit because I want to speak straightforward and honestly. And also, that's my food going off, so I should probably cut this <laughs> pretty short. I'll maybe continue this rant later, but, you know, we're in this together. Everything sucks. And regardless of what other people say, just, if you know you're doing your best, that's all you need to know. Don't let anyone else's feelings try to convince you otherwise. Also, the cat is licking my arm, and it's really cute. Well, she's not licking my arm anymore, but it was really adorable when it was happening. <sighs> Alright. This has been a long enough clip. I should get my food out of the oven before it burns. Thank you for watching, and hang in there.